I'll show you family. This is Edwin Rose always trying to bring you the truth. Hey man, um a couple of days ago I made a post about um why I hate you football coaches. Um and been getting a lot of inboxes and messages um from concerned parents, from coaches, from everybody. Um how to tackle some ideas for drills, and a little bit of everything. So <laughs> It has definitely brought back, it started the fire from me coaching again. Like, I want to get out there, man. I want to do something. But I would like to do it differently. Um, so here's the idea that I have. I want to provide free, free camps for the local children here in Las Vegas. Um, but we need a facility. Um, I don't know who we can do this with, who we can conjoin with. This is, this video is to ask, is asking for help, um, because I would like to provide the training, um, all the coaching knowledge. I know so many guys, man, that they love this sport, including myself, man. Um, I think the lore you get with football the more pure it is when it comes to teaching and mentoring and things like that. So, so here's the idea. Free camps for these kids. Uh, developing skills, developing technique, improving the kid, personal one-on-one -on -one training with the kids. But I, once again, man, I, I, these parents, man, they can't afford all this stuff, man. You, you, you look at some of these... And I'm not, I don't want to, I'm not going to name drop any of these um, training facilities. But if you go Google or do a search on these training facilities, these people want three, four hundred dollars a session, man. That's ridiculous. For what? I, I could tell y'all, I could tell y'all right now, this is, <laughs> this is free game. I could tell you right now. You want to see an improvement in one area, an aspect of anything that you're doing? Be obsessed with it. Let's just say push-ups. You want, you want a bigger chest or you want the kid to get stronger. Do 100 push-ups a day. Every day. I, today is the 18th. In two weeks, repost, repost your son or just make a comment on how your son did with just being obsessed with one movement every day for two weeks and see if they, their strength doesn't improve. See, I see these coaches and I see these people, man, doing some of the silliest shit. If you take something down and strip it to its basics, you know, and I'm going to say this, fundamentals and technique when it comes to football, it's fundamentals and technique. Now, are these little octagon rings where they do the quick feet? That's, that's great. That's all. That's, that's awesome. You know, we want to have that, too. But you need to, before you get, before you get to where, and see, this is something that, you know, some of my old school coaches um, taught me, and it still didn't mean, like, you don't get to wear gloves, you know, your first year out, your first game. You know, you make, you make good catches, you make this, and if it's your choice to wear gloves to look good, you could do that. Other than that, you don't do it. But free facility. Well, I'm sorry, not a free facility, because this is where the sponsorship comes in. Um, like I said, if somebody wants to do something like this and you know somebody that's looking for people to help them coach and help them mentor, I would like to, you know, show them this video or um, go to my Facebook page. It'll be on Edwin Rose um, on Facebook. Um, they can see some of my material. Um, but. You know, just getting back to the kids and doing their things right, doing it correctly. I, I'm I'm tired of, you know, just had a, a couple of inboxes about, you know, parents. How do how would I know how, you know, because, you know, when I go to drop my son off for football practice, I can't stay. So how would I know? And I reposted a video I did like four years ago about looking at the crown of the helmet, see if there's any scars and stuff like that. Um, any damage to the helmet, but that's the dream, man. So 
this going out to you guys, man, if you know anybody that's, you know, like I said, this, this is, this is a Las Vegas collective thing, man. You know, somebody wants to rent out a, a warehouse. Somebody wants to donate some, some artificial turf. Somebody wants to donate some equipment. You know, I would definitely love to run the program to better these kids, man. And like I said, I know enough people that I can get people to come in and teach your kids. Hell, it. <laughs> and like I said, it ain't that hard, man. I, 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 I can show you improvement on any aspect of, of any player in two weeks. Two weeks. Once I see the kid, you know, and like I said, I would like to see footage of the kid. You know, if I haven't, if I don't know this kid, if I've never seen him play, I would like to see him play. I would like to know their strengths. I would like to know their weaknesses so we can improve and sit down with and have one-on-ones with the parents. See, I've never been one of the coaches that'd be like, oh, no, parent, get out of here. Don't watch the practice. I hate closed practices because you'll hear about some shit that happened with your kids and you'll be like, what the hell is going on with the, your coaches? So, no, I'm, I'm one of the ones that truly believe in the community Come, 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 come. As long as you don't interrupt my my practice, come sit down, watch, have some popcorn, enjoy the practice. Especially in, in youth football. Especially, shit, even in high school and college, I think it should be open practice. It shouldn't be closed. You wouldn't hear about people doing dirty shit 30 years later if the practice was open. <laughs> you got these people disrespecting y'all babies. And y'all don't hear about it until five, six years later. Then it's, it's almost like, what do I do? You know, it is what it is. But if you know somebody that's looking to invest into some type of sports facility, training facility for the kids here in Las Vegas, um, like I said, I would like that, that aspect of it to be free to the kids. Now, they can have another venture, another business. Um Whatever you want the camp to be named or the, the the business to be named, we can sell T-shirts, make money off of that. However you want to make money, but the the part of training the kids, I would love for it to be free to the kids. That way, the ones that don't have access to four five hundred dollars a week to go to <laughs> one of these elite football camps, and and that's my that's my football camp, <laughs> elevated football camp is mine on the page, but. If you want to go to one of these elite football camps, you they can't afford it. These are the kids that I'm looking for. Even the ones that go to that. Even the ones, come compare it. Come compare the training because training is training. And if you're obsessed on a training, you can build anything. You can build anything. If your kid has a poor throwing habit, he has a he, he kicks out instead of rotating from the body, that could be trained. That's, that, that could be corrected. But you have to know what you're looking for. And this is what I, <laughs> what really mess, gets me upset when I see these kids doing these advanced drills and they're nine years old, eight years old. You, you're not advanced. You shouldn't be doing bull in the ring, meet them in the alley, all these head-up drills. You shouldn't be doing it. So we, I would like to have something where we can teach these babies so they're not afraid. Because... Fear is something that will kill your kid's drive to do anything in life. But if you can teach them proper technique so they know they're not going to hurt themselves, the fear goes away. Then you can get into the brash stuff of talking and, you know, you, you elevate. You know, every year you're going to elevate and grow. So that's what I want to see. I, um, I want a youth growth program, basically. Okay. But I would like for it to be free to the kids, man. We we can't be asking these parents because from Pop Warner, from these camps, I mean, what is Pop? Is Pop Warner still one fifty a kid? Then plus you got to pay one hundred and fifty, hundred and thirty dollars for the team fees, the league fees, and then you got to go buy your cleats. Sometimes you got to buy helmets. Sometimes it's, <laughs> we can't do that to the parents, man. We can't. So if anybody else, I'm putting this out there to the to the world and to Las Vegas. If y'all know somebody that wants to come in and bring some sponsorship into creating a youth growth program for us football, I would love to be a part of it. Send them my way. Let's connect and let's make it happen, family. Hotel.